Um, I, you know, it was all anonymous quotes. So, you wouldn't have let that in? So, uh, not all of those ad feminam ones. No, I wouldn't have. Uh, but, you know, they, when, when the article came out, it, it, I mean, the truth is, I was, al you know, alone at home when it went online at night. And, you know, I read it and, you know, it did make me cry. And then maybe two seconds after I read it, this, like, fabulous uh, woman journalist colleague that I had known at the journal named Asra Nomani. I don't know if any of you know her, but Asra called me and she just said, unless you stop me, I'm going to work. And she just went online and, you know, she has her own network and, you know, she just kind of got something going, which then became like, it was thrilling, like a prairie fire <laughs> among like other women journalists who just like saw this thing as like a shoddy sexist, uh, you know, ad feminam attack on, on me. And uh, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I'm not stubborn. Uh, you know, the story seemed to revolve around this like silly fight that Dean Baquet, the managing editor of the Times, and I had had one day. But like, who doesn't occasionally have, you know, spats with coworkers? And, you know, this one blew over in less than a day, as most do, and you know it's just kind of a a, a, a nutty piece. 